Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station. I'm a national expert in IRS resolution matters. I worked at IRS for 10 years. I have a whole team of former IRS agents and attorneys on staff. We are built for a, uh, a national design. Um, many of you have come to me because you see me on ABC, uh, the briefing room, uh, the Washington Bureau, uh, Newsmax, News Nation, uh, Fox a couple times. Uh, I've been on. I've been all around. But thank you for listening. Uh, you can go to my uh, my website at 777irs.com and see the value really of of, of our team. Uh, we bring really a lot to the table. Uh, today I want to talk to you about what happens in a business tax audit. As a former agent, I worked in the collection division. I was a revenue officer, and as a result, we get many of the cases from the audit division where IRS has set up a lot of money. So I just want to give you a couple tips so you understand what IRS is going to be doing during this audit. On our team, by the way, we have former IRS uh, revenue agents, appellate agents, and tax court liaison, so we know what goes on in between this. IRS loves to audit Schedule C and LLC companies. They do, because they know there's a lot, a lot of low-hanging fruit. You know, the two groups IRS loves to uh, look at they love to look at low-income people. Why? Because people cheat on the credits. They know many uh, fraudulent tax preparers are giving people credits they don't earn. So when you see that they lower the, the low income, it's because people are cheating in the tax credits. And those are dollar-for-dollar dollar credits. Those are easy credits to pick up because IRS now has a number of filters uh, that IRS uses to go ahead and uh, pick those up. Uh, pick those up so that's easy to do but the reason they know that schedule C and schedule C is good and LLC are really good is because people tend to cheat they under undervalue their income so IRS is going to take a really close look at your bank statements a very close look at your bank statements and then after they do that they're going to look at your expenses and there's expected uh, uh, ratios to income to expenses, income to expenses. IRS has what's called a discord process. The discord process lets them know what's out of whack with your tax return. They look at the income, they look at your possible expenses, and they say, mm, something doesn't make here. There's too much expenses for this income. So you're fighting the IRS national standards. They love to look at extra marketing and advertising. Transportation is really big. And food and food is really big. Going out to dinner. So if you are an LLC or a Schedule C, know that IRS is going to attack these expenses that just absolutely seem out of whack compared to the national average. And they have those national averages right there. Plus the computer score generates these audits and they're going to tell IRS what's out of whack so they know where to go. Here's where you may want to get a person to represent you. If you first of all, if you're confident in your records, go on yourself. You don't need a person. I tell everyone they ask, when do you need representation? I always say this: when you have a pit in your uh, 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 you have a pit in your stomach, it doesn't seem right, or you think there's a skeleton. That's the time you hire someone. The reason you do that is really big. You do not want IRS expanding the audit. What they do is they they send you the doc for the original papers. They do poking around and says, we want three years now. We're finding too much. So that's why you use a professional. Remember, if you have the pit in your stomach, you got sketchy records, you hire someone. If you don't, do it yourself. But remember, you've got to marginalize your expenses unless you can find them. Remember, IRS knows the standards and the ratios. They have this. They're taught this. They know this, and they're available. So just know, if you need us, we're around. Now you have an idea of what they look at. They're going to look at any expense that falls, that they say, gee, something doesn't make sense here. Keep them reasonable, and you'll never get audited by the IRS. If you do, call Big Daddy. Thank you.